Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Proud Deep Dive. This is the part 2 of our encryption and AWS KMS series. In this video, we will talk about AWS KMS Key Management Service. So let's get started. Let's first discuss about what were the challenges customers were facing before the invention of KMS. So customers were creating their own keys and they were responsible for the security, integrity and availability of those keys because they, they were managing those keys on their own and on the on-prem. Traditional key management does not facilitate automation or scalability. So that was another challenge for the customer. They have to do that. And key management solution must be manually integrated with various applications. So suppose there is any application which need to uh, use those keys. So there need to be some integration need to be done for those services, which was not typically provided by default. Uh, manual process always slow and it can lead to some error. And to manage those keys and the materials, you need a HSM modules, the hardware security module, which is always expensive, complex and require uh, expertise as well. So there was few challenges which customers were facing prior to launch of service KMS. And uh, so then AWS launched the service called AWS KMS, which is very easy to use. You can just with this uh, click of a single button, you can create your uh, KMS key. You can manage it through the console or CLI you're using the SDK and it's securely stored uh, by AWS. So you don't need to worry about the underlying hardware or underlying infrastructure. AWS will take care of everything for you. And the good part is a KMS is incorporated or integrated with multiple service around 90 plus services at the time of recording uh, is integrated so you don't need to do anything uh, it just kind of worked like a magic so how it is different from your on-prem like uh, encryption keys can be easily created like and manage and can be managed like i mentioned that you can use console cli or sdk you can easily create and manage those keys customer they are not responsible for the hsm uh, AWS will take care of those things. All the underlying infrastructure uh, is all done by AWS. It allow you to automation of the keys, uh, key management tasks such as you can do the key rotation by using CLI or console or from using the SDK. It's highly available. AWS will make sure these KMS keys are highly available and uh, it's there whenever you require it. It integrates with other services like EBS volumes or S3 and uh, is uh, is cheap as well as compared to the cost uh, customers were paying when they were creating or managing these keys at their on-prem level. Next, let's talk about type of KMS keys. First is AWS on keys. AWS on keys are on by like the name mentioned by AWS. You don't have any visibility to its metadata. You cannot manage it. And even you don't know whether this particular key is used only for your account or it used for multiple accounts or for other customer as well. And the rotation of these keys is also depends, it varies. It's all managed and on by AWS. So how, how you get to know whether you, um, the key or encryption key used is by AWS on or AWS managed. Let me show you on the console. So if you go to the console and you go to uh, secure, uh, sorry, S3. So let me see in my case, no, I don't have. So we can go to S3. Okay, here you go. And suppose I open one of my bucket and I go to properties. And if I see default encryption right now is disabled, that means whatever I upload to this bucket, it won't encrypt any of the data, but I can change it. I can say, hey, I want to enable the encryption. By default, it uses SSC S3, which means that Amazon own keys. So when I enable this uh, encryption, that means Amazon will use Amazon own keys to encrypt or decrypt your data. You just upload the data here and Amazon will use its own keys, it will encrypt it, store it. And when you require the data back, it will decrypt by using that key and give it back to you. So this is where the Amazon owned keys will come into the picture where you don't have any visibility, you cannot manage it, and you don't know whether it's used for only for your account or for multiple accounts. Next is AWS Managed Key. AWS Managed Key is, again, it's created by AWS in AMS, 
you can see the metadata but you cannot manage it it's managed by aws and in this case you are sure that it will be used only for your account it won't be used by for multiple accounts and the rotation is defined it so automatically it is done by aws only and it's done every three years so how you get to know that which is the aws managed key so if you go to your console and you go to all services security identity and compliance under that you will find key management service one thing to remember that these keys are uh, regional but now earlier these were regional but now you can have a multi-region key as well uh, so you can create key in one region and then it will replicate to another region as well and i did a video on that earlier so i'll provide you the link on the upper right hand side corner here uh, so that you can uh, take a look at what are the multi-region keys if you want so like I mentioned, the AWS managed keys, you can see it here. These are the AWS managed keys, which was created by AWS and managed by AWS. If I open any particular key, suppose AWS commit, you can see the key policy, but you cannot edit anything here. And if you go to cryptography in configuration, you don't need, you cannot do basically anything. It's all managed and uh, created by AWS. So right now you see that you have only three keys. You don't have any key for s3 so what i'm gonna do i'll go to my s3 and because i'm in us east one region so i'll open a bucket which is in us east one and go to the properties and go to default encryption will enable and we'll say kms so aws kms so when i select this option that means a key will be created if now if there is no key is already present so a new key will be created by aws and will manage by aws in kms um, so this is where we say that i won't want to use aws own keys i want to use the keys which is managed by kms or which is managed in the kms and in that again we have option that whether we want to use aws managed keys or you want to choose your own key from kms so i'll do i'll save it okay so it's saved now let's uh, you, you can see the key is created here we can click uh, right click on this and say open a new tab oh it's going to customer manage key but it should go to aws manage key and you can see the uh, aws s3 key is created here so the moment we enable the encryption and we define that we want to use aws kms manage key uh, which is uh, managed by aws then it will create a key automatically for you now next type of key is customer managed key customer managed key is another kms uh, key type which you create you manage is on in your account only and you can set a automatic rotation for that and that will be every year so i'll show you in the console that how you can create a customer managed key if i go to kms console and i go to customer managed key Sorry, uh, let me go to the same region where we are working, US East one. And I am in the KMS, I'll go to the customer managed key. So here you can create your own customer managed key. You can click on create key and then you can choose symmetric or asymmetric and provide some options. So uh, that's how you can create a uh, customer managed key as well. I will be showing a full demo on that, that how you can create customer managed key in my next video. But I just wanted to show you that there is uh, you can create customer managed key as well. And in S3 or any uh, other service, if you go to edit uh, in the encryption. So right now we are using the AWS managed key. If you want to use a customer managed key, you can choose choose from your AWS KMS keys. And here it will show you the list of KMS key you have created in KMS console. And you can choose one of them which you want to use for the encryption or you can directly enter the uh, ARN number here. So that's uh, all about uh, AWS KMS keys guys. In the next video, I will give you a demo that how you can create customer managed key and what are the different types in that symmetric and asymmetric and how you can create the material and all those stuff. So stay tuned, uh, hope you like this video and found this useful. Please do subscribe to my channel. I will be putting a whole series on uh, encryption uh, in this and uh, including in future, I will be putting more videos uh, of the new upcoming services as well. So till then, thank you so much. Stay tuned. Bye.